Hello everybody, I hope that you are all doing wonderfully well today. We're going to be concluding our look at Philippians in uh, today's little message. And so the last verse of Philippians, which is chapter 4, verse 23. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Now there are two things that I want to uh, pull out from this today. First of all, grace. What, what is grace? Now, we probably all know whether we are believers or not. The hymn, Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound. And in that we're told that grace teaches our hearts to fear and relieves our fears. And that it's a grace that has brought Newton through many trials, toils and snares, etc, etc. And we kind of know what it means when we say that somebody is gracious and full of grace. They are kind, they're forgiving, they look after people. So what does it mean in the context of Philippians 4.23? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. In that context, grace is the root, the foundation of our faith. Because grace is about not treating people how they deserve, but treating people as people who are loved. See, in a way, grace is, uh, is a counterbalance to justice. People often say, why doesn't God get rid of all of the sin and all of the sinners? Just with a click of his fingers, like Thanos snapping half the universe out of existence in Avengers. Well, if he did that, he'd probably have to start with you, with me. Because we're all sinners, we all do stuff that breaks our relationship with God. And that means that God has a decision to make. Does he treat us as we deserve and separate us from him forever? Or does he show grace, treating us not as we deserve, but as beloved children who he will show his love to? And the, the verse that we're looking at today gives the answer to that. He offers us grace in Jesus. In Jesus, not just as a man who came and taught some nice things, but in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Chosen One. As Jesus Christ, who is the Lord, the God who created us out of love for us, who calls us into relationship with him, even though we don't deserve it, even though we can't earn it. That's what grace means. It's undeserved favour. And Jesus pours it out on all who are willing to come and receive it. The other thing that I want to just touch on today is the second half of the verse. May the grace of Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. We live in a very materialistic world. In our society today, materialism is the flavour of the month. It is the predominant worldview. That we are just a bunch of random atoms that collided in a certain way. And this is what we get. The Bible says that that worldview is so far from the truth. Because it talks about the grace of Jesus being with our spirits. And you see, if we have spirits, we're more than just a body. And this is a worldview that is abhorrent to materialism. The idea that, that there's more than just the body and just the collection of atoms swirling around in a certain way. If we have spirits, that means that we can communicate with God who is spirit. If we are spirits as well as bodies, that means that there is far more to life than just 
going about day to day doing the stuff that we do. It means that we are called to something greater than just this world, just this life. We're called into a relationship through the Holy Spirit with our God, with our Father, who is spirit, but came amongst us in the flesh, in the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. May you know him. May you follow him. May you know his love. God bless.